this right here, what you see is a display, so I can, it gives me different information. Right here, um, it's kind of like, let's say, a mouse pad, so you can control it. I absolutely love it. I work with Brick Simple, and I am the social media manager. I can share pictures, I can share the latest news. So if you guys would like to know more about technology, you can follow us on Google Plus, uh, Brick Simple, or you can follow me as well, Ready Campbell. Hey everybody, this is Dave Martinez with Brick Simple. And we're at the Innovation Hangar here in San Francisco at the Palace of Fine Arts. And we're having Space Day today. It's pretty amazing. We have all these space companies here, Earthcast, uh, Main Space, uh, Space VR, and Sean's groups over here, and we have uh, Nanoracks over here, Rob. It's pretty amazing. We gotta thank Sean for having us out here. My name is Dave Martins, the principal. We create, the future will bring. Hi, we're here at Space Innovation Day, super excited to have uh, such an amazing space community here in the Silicon Valley. Um, our company is Space VR. We're working on putting a VR camera on the International Space Station so that anyone can experience what it's like to be an astronaut from the safety of their couch. Uh, it feels rad. It feels like you're. It feels like you're there. It feels like you're on Mars. Uh, my name is Isaac De Souza. I am the co-founder and CTO for Space VR. And at Space VR, we are a space exploration company first this year. And this camera will capture at the highest resolution available exactly what it's like to be an astronaut in space in full 360 3D video. So this experience will allow anyone on Earth, if you've got access to a VR headset, which could be just as simple as a smartphone, exactly the experience that up until now has only been given to astronauts. So you can be an astronaut this year with Space VR. See like the rover underneath you. You can see the rocks off in the distance. You can see, yeah, it's awesome. So I am behind the scenes. I do the food and I take care of uh, the correspondence, mostly through email, with companies who are interested in doing business with Silicon Valley Space Center and getting in touch with Sean. So basically, I'm Sean's right hand lead. An important aspect of that is the uh, educational market and a company like RGSAT provides satellites in low earth orbit where students and teachers can design experiments that uh, uh, measure radiation, take imaging and... Uh... So what we want to do is bring these groups together, solve major problems for now, uh, I was very excited when I heard about space innovation happening here because my background is in aerospace engineering. What was great to see here, these, there are these amazing companies doing such incredible work, whether it's like RGSAT who are working with STEM and getting young children interested in, in space and technology from a young age, to companies like Space VR who are trying to make everybody, the general public astronauts, by giving them a look on, at Mars and the moon and just like being able to see what an astronaut sees when they're out on a space EVA. It's a way to really engender more interest in space and space technology with the public and that's amazing to see out here in the Bay Area. inspire the next generation of scientists and people to pursue a space. Yeah. And so what we're here to do is provide programs that make them interested. Was well, I went into the other area of the exposition hall here and found out that they have a Model T Ford there and I learned that the Model T Ford in 1915, 100 years ago, did not have a water pump, a fuel pump, and 
just about everything else most modern cars have, and I'm kind of simplified time, but it's going to um, exponentially grow quickly. Hi, I'm Ron Gutendorf. I'm with NanoRacks. I'm the Vice President of Space Opportunities based out of NASA Ames in Mountain View. NanoRax is one of the only companies to commercially utilize the International Space Station as a platform for launching clients, satellites. QCAB launches very small satellites to low Earth orbit. What we are trying to do is be the low end, no frills, lower the barriers of access to space. We are here mainly to demonstrate that such, such cool things that people have been dreaming of for the last 50 years is now upon us. But all these groups are uh, researchers and engineers that are looking to build companies in um, uh, this growing commercial space sector. So Silicon Valley Space Center focuses on those topics and it's been great to be here at the Innovation Hangar so that we can showcase those companies to a large public audience that comes 